So I, uh, in the part two, uh, let me give a recap of, because this is the often question uh, which has been asked, uh, uh, you know, how to choose uh, the research uh, uh, methodology. So uh, if uh, the research aim and objective, uh, they have a major influence on the research methodology. So what should be the starting point uh, for developing uh, this research methodology is to take a step back and look uh, at the picture of the research uh, before we uh, making a decision for uh, the methodology uh, that we are going to adopt. Uh, so the first question need to ask uh, uh, whether the research is exploratory or confirmatory in nature. If the research aims and objective are uh, you make if the research aims and objective are primarily exploratory in nature, uh, so most likely the research uh, be qualitative, and therefore uh, one must consider a qualitative data collection method. That is uh, what we have discussed: is the interview analysis method and uh, the uh, qualitative content uh, analysis. Uh, on the other side, uh, conversely, and if the research aims and objective uh, are looking uh, to measure or test something, uh, they are confirmatory, uh, then the research will quite likely uh, to be uh, quantitative in nature. And one may consider uh, the quantitative data collection method. For example, the survey and the analysis would be uh, statistical uh, analysis, which we have uh, uh, just uh, mentioned, uh, the descriptive statistics, which is mean, medians, and mode, and the inferential statistics, uh, the correlation, regression, and the structure uh, equation uh, modeling. Uh, so far, we have not done the uh, structure equation modeling, which has been used uh, in the marketing. Uh, if uh, the scholar feel uh, a detailed talk on uh, structural equation uh, modeling, uh, I'm uh, going uh, to bring uh, an expert on this uh, from uh, IIT uh, Rurki. Uh, and uh, uh, the designing of the research and the working on the metallurgy uh, is a large uh, topic uh, that we have. So uh, we will cover uh, we will uh, most uh, important uh, uh, just a recap the what is your area and what is the uh, problem uh, seeming problem you 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 see it and uh, and and what we say uh, 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 through the research if you are not getting uh, uh, your uh, satisfactory answer to your problem that means uh, it needs further uh, analysis. And uh, that's what uh, we have just uh, uh, mentioned uh, about, uh, the, uh, about the various uh, uh, choice of uh, research uh, methodology uh, that we uh, use. And uh, let me, uh, yeah. So that is what uh, we uh, uh, use uh, uh, the uh, various uh, method and how we cho uh, choose the uh, research uh, methodology that we use it. Now, this is uh, the main focus of my talk to make it very simple. It is just like a, a peeling of the onion, you know. Uh, that's why uh, Saunders uh, research uh, uh, of onion. So as, as you peel uh, onion, uh, so uh, we know it, uh, the uh, research uh, uh, philosophy, which is uh, ontology and uh, epistemology. And uh, the, this is what, uh, if you see on the topmost uh, layer, uh, which is uh, written uh, there. So uh, uh, the, the simplest layer, uh, you know, the, the Sanders research, uh, Onion describe uh, the different decision uh, uh, one would uh, make and developing uh, the uh, research methodology uh, where uh, uh, in any of the research work or research project and uh, from uh, uh, outside of an onion where the research uh, 
philosophy uh, uh, lies. So the very first layer of uh, uh, onion and uh, of the research uh, philosophy, uh, the, uh, this is the foundation uh, uh, for any study. And it describes uh, the set of uh, uh, belief uh, that we have it. And the research uh, philosophy uh, can be described, uh, uh, as I said, uh, the ontology or uh, uh, epistemology, uh, the point of view. And uh, a simple term, the ontology is what and how of what we know. Uh, in other words, uh, what is the nature of uh, the reality and uh, what are we really able to know and understand uh, for example does re uh, reality exist as a single uh, objective thing or uh, uh, it is uh, different uh, for each person uh, this reminds me of uh, uh, a film the matrix uh, and think about uh, simulated reality uh, in that film the uh, matrix uh, the epistem uh, epistemology, on the other hand, is how uh, we can obtain knowledge and uh, come to understand things. Uh, in other words, uh, how can we figure out uh, what reality is and what uh, the limit is for uh, the knowledge are? Now, this is... Uh, 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 although I'm trying to say uh, with very, very simple way, but it is useful uh, to start with, to, to think. And uh, uh, the uh, three of the main research, which is written here, A, B, and C, uh, the first is uh, the uh, positivism. So, and other is uh, the inter uh, privatism and pragmatism. So, uh, the researcher, the research philosophy is the foundation of uh, any study and it is described the set of belief upon uh, the which the, uh, the research is uh, uh, built upon. Uh, the uh, research uh, philosophy of uh, positivism uh, it takes a, a view of that knowledge exists outside uh, of what's being studied. Uh, in uh, another word, what is being studied can only be done so uh, objectively and it cannot uh, include opinion or the personal viewpoint. Uh, now, this uh, has often come across uh, with the researcher, uh, what we call the biasness. Uh, uh, research has to be uh, unbiased. So therefore, the personal uh, viewpoint has uh, uh, no role there. So uh, a researcher doesn't uh, interpret, uh, they only observe. And the positivism uh, states that uh, uh, there is only one reality and that all meaning is consistent between these subjects. Uh, Dr. Joji Rao has uh, very nicely uh, explained uh, this particular uh, point. So in uh, positive's uh, view, the knowledge can only be acquired through empirical research, which is based on the measurement and uh, the observation. In other words, all knowledge is viewed as a posteriori knowledge. So the knowledge that is not uh, relying on human reasoning, but instead of gained from the research. Uh, for uh, positivist, knowledge can only be true, false, or meaningless. Uh, basically, if something is not found to be true or false, uh, it no longer holds any ground and is thus dismissed. Uh, let's look at uh, the example uh, of uh, the question and Dr. Jojira has mentioned uh, about this, God exists, whether God exists or not. Uh, since uh, positivism takes uh, the stance that knowledge uh, has to be uh, empirically vigorous and the knowledge of whether God exists or not is irrelevant. Uh, this topic cannot be proven to be true or false. Uh, and thus uh, this knowledge is seen as meaningless. 
uh, the the uh, let us look on the uh, other hand. Uh, uh, that's what uh, it is uh, written for positive. Knowledge can only be true, false, or meaningless. If something is not uh, found to be true or false, uh, it no longer holds uh, any ground. Uh, the uh, interprivatism, uh, uh, it, it, it uh, emphasizes on the influence uh, that social and cultural factor can have uh, on an individual. Now this view focuses on uh, people's thought and ideas uh, in light of the socio-cultural uh, back backdrop. Now with the uh, inter uh, with the uh, inter uh, West, uh, the holistic view of the uh, participant or the group uh, and their action and. Uh, uh, the uh, thought and the meaning. So, for example, uh, if we are studying uh, psychology and uh, uh, one may uh, make use of a case study in the research which uh, investigate uh, individual with a proposed uh, diagnosis of uh, schizophrenia. Uh, now, the uh, inter uh, uh, view would come into play here uh, as social and the cultural uh, factor may influence the outcome of this uh, diagnosis. Now, uh, through the research, one may find the individual uh, originates uh, uh, from, uh, let's say, from India, where the schizophrenia symptoms like uh, uh, hallucinations are viewed positively uh, as they are uh, thought to be indicate that person is in uh, a spirit uh, a medium. Now, this is a typical uh, Western uh, way of uh, looking uh, when we talk of uh, 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 the specialism in India. So uh, that therefore, uh, this uh, example is uh, given by uh, the, the author. Uh, uh, so it's not uh, my own, but I'm just uh, referring uh, in the end of uh, uh, this talk uh, and initial, uh, I have used uh, this particular uh, model and uh, given the same uh, uh, example. So uh, uh, this uh, uh, illustrates the uh, interpretivist approach since uh, as a researcher would uh, make use of the patient's view or patient point of view, uh, as well as the own interpretation uh, when assessing uh, this particular case study. Uh, the third is uh, pragmatism, uh, which is uh, uh, highlight the importance of using uh, the best tool possible to investigate the phenomena. And the main aim of uh, pragmatism is uh, to approach research from a practical point of view. Uh, where knowledge is not fixed, but instead uh, is uh, constantly uh, questioned and uh, uh, interpreted. Uh, uh, for this reason, the pragmatism consists uh, of an element of researchers' involvement here, and subsequently, uh, the specifically uh, when uh, drawing conclusion in the end, uh, that is based uh, on the participants' uh, responses and decisions. Uh, in other words, the pragmatism is not committed to or limited uh, to one specific philosophy. Uh, the example uh, here is uh, from the trolley problem uh, with set of ethical and uh, psychological thought experiment. Uh, uh, now, this participant uh, had to decide uh, either uh, killing one person to save multiple people or allowing multiple people to die to avoid uh, killing one person. Now, this experiment uh, can be altered, uh, including uh, detail uh, such as one person or uh, a group of uh, people being a family member or the loved ones. So the fact that uh, the experiment can be altered to suit the researcher's needs uh, is an example of uh, pragmatism. Uh, in other words, the outcome of the person uh, doing a thought uh, experiment is more uh, important than uh, the philosophical idea behind the uh, experiment. Uh, the 
second layer of onion, which is uh, the uh, research approach that we have it. So, uh, so from first layer, we have uh, peeled off to second layer and uh, the research approach is uh, a broader method uh, one would uh, use in the research inductive or the uh, deductive, uh, uh, inductive or deductive uh, approach. Now it's important to clearly identify the research approach uh, in the study uh, and uh, the inductive approach uh, entails uh, uh, the uh, generating theory from the research rather than starting a project with a theory as a foundation. Uh, and in uh, deductive, uh, in deductive approach, uh, uh, on the other hand, uh, it uh, begins with a theory and aim to build it or to test it through research. So uh, an uh, inductive approach could be used in the study of an uh, otherwise unknown isolated community. Uh, there is a little or there is very little knowledge about the community and therefore research would have to be conducted to gain information on the uh, community. So therefore, uh, uh, thus this uh, uh, leads to the formation of the theory. On the other hand, in a uh, deductive, uh, deductive approach uh, uh, would be taken into the investigating changes uh, in the physical property uh, of uh, animals uh, over time. And this would likely to uh, rotate uh, in the theory uh, of evolution. Uh, on, uh, in the other word, the starting point is well established uh, pre-existing uh, body of uh, the research uh, that we have. Uh, let us uh, uh, go uh, a little more about uh, the uh, qualitative research and uh, that focus uh, uh, and the, on the uh, textual and uh, the quantitative research that focus on the uh, numerical uh, uh, data uh, that we uh, have it. And uh, uh, just a, a recap of uh, the uh, qualitative uh, 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 method uh, is uh, the, the, uh, it is more interaction with the human being and dealing uh, with the soft uh, uh, stuff and are far more comfortable with the number and the algorithm. And on the other hand, uh, the, uh, for example, the anthropologists are probably more keen on the qualitative methods because uh, they literally have the opposite fears. You know? And uh, uh, however, a researcher try to justify being afraid is not a good uh, basic, uh, not a good basis for decision making. And uh, uh, the methodology uh, needs to be informed by the research aims and uh, the uh, objective, not the comfort zone. I again repeat, uh, the uh, research aims and objective are more important and not the comfort zone where we want uh, them to be. Uh, so uh, this is what uh, we talk about uh, the uh, approach uh, one feared in the uh, research uh, and is actually uh, not uh, a good idea to, to start uh, such kind of fear in the research. Uh, now, uh, the uh, qualitative and the quantitative choice is uh, straightforward, uh, plain uh, language with uh, lots of uh, the example uh, we have uh, talked about. Uh, the for example, in a qualitative research, uh, the bath water is hot. Dr. Joji Rao gave this uh, particular, he's an expert of uh, uh, qualitative uh, research. Uh, so now this can be uh, unlocked uh, and uh, uh, you know, that's uh, uh, perceived the water is uh, 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 for an Eskimo, uh, perhaps a uh, water uh, in Dehradun is hot and uh, uh, during the month of uh, December, and somebody from uh, there himself may find it cold. So, 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 so that what uh, people uh, perception uh, 
that we uh, have it. And uh, the qualitative research helps to understand people's perception and the uh, experience uh, in a uh, systematically coding and uh, the analysis of that uh, uh, data. And the qualitative research uh, uh, of those uh, uh, may have uh, some agreement and uh, the uh, disagreement. Uh, and uh, for example, uh, the interview to focus group to direct observation, uh, ideally uh, outside uh, this uh, hot and cold of the uh, water we have uh, talked about. Uh, as a researcher, uh, could be interested to know uh, how uh, disagreement uh, unfold. And uh, the emotive uh, uh, languages used in the exchange. So one may not be interested uh, in uh, those uh, language of the words. Uh, and uh, the uh, the whole idea is uh, you you get uh, the, the the softer meaning uh, from uh, there. So in this way, uh, the qualitative research can be incredibly rich and detailed. And uh, uh, this often used uh, as a basis uh, to formulate theories and uh, identify pattern. Uh, in other words, uh, great for exploratory research. Uh, for example, the objective is to explore uh, what people think or feel uh, as opposed to confirmatory research, for example, where the, the objective is to test a hypothesis. So uh, qualitative research is used to understand the human perception, uh, the world view, and the way we describe uh, our experience. Uh, it's about exploring and uh, understanding uh, a broad question and a few perception uh, idea uh, that we uh, have it. So uh, we have uh, another uh, layer of uh, onion uh, that what we uh, call it. Uh, uh, so let's have a, a recap uh, on uh, so far whatever we have done it, the, uh, the research philosophy and the research uh, approaches uh, that we have it. So uh, the third layer uh, is the research strategies uh, that we are going to uh, talk uh, about. So uh, uh, the con conceptual and intangible aspect uh, of the onion, the, the third layer of the onion, uh, uh, it is uh, when we peel it and we talk of the research strategy. Now, uh, this layer of research uh, 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 onion uh, details how based on aim to study uh, research that can be uh, conducted. Now we have uh, several approaches uh, one can uh, uh, use or think of. Uh, the first is the uh, experimental research uh, that we have it. So here is uh, the third layer of uh, the onion, the experimental uh, research that we have and uh, followed by uh, the action research, the case study research, grounded theory, ethnography and uh, archival uh, research. So let's uh, look at uh, them one by one. Uh, the uh, experimental research involves uh, uh, manipulating one variable, the independent variable, to observe a change in another variable, that is the dependent variable. So I repeat, uh, the experimental research involves manipulating one variable, which is independent variable, to observe a change in another variable, which is a dependent variable. So in other words, uh, uh, to assess the relationship between the, these two variables. And the purpose of uh, uh, experimental research is to support, or refute, or validate uh, the research uh, hypothesis. Now, this uh, research uh, strategy follow the principle of the scientific method and is conducted with a controlled environment 
uh, or a setting, uh, for example, in a uh, laboratory. So in a uh, laboratory, uh, we, we do uh, the experimental research uh, and that aims to test existing theory rather than create the new one. And uh, as such uh, is uh, deductive in nature. And uh, the experimental research uh, align with a positivist research philosophy and is uh, assumed that knowledge can only be uh, studied objectively and uh, in isolation from the external factor. Uh, if uh, we have the hypothesis that a certain brand uh, uh, of uh, dog food, for example, can raise a dog's protein level. So one could make use of the experimental research to compare the effect uh, of the specific uh, brand uh, to uh, a regular diet. In other words, one could uh, test the hypothesis. Now, in this example, uh, we have two groups where one group consists of dogs uh, with no changes in their diet. Uh, so this is called the control group. And uh, I'm sorry. Uh, so I'm still uh, continuing with the uh, experimental uh, research. So with, with, with the uh, dog's uh, food, uh, my uh, uh, hypothesis was that uh, uh, dog food can raise a dog protein level. So, uh, so one group, uh, which is called the control group, so that consists of dogs with the no changes uh, in, in their diet. And the other group consists of dogs uh, being fed uh, the specific brand uh, that one to investigate, uh, that is called the experimental or the treatment group. And one would test uh, the hypothesis by comparing the protein level uh, in the, uh, both the uh, group. So uh, experimental research involves manipulating and uh, uh, independent variable to observe a change in the dependent uh, variable. So this is the classic example that we have it. The other is uh, the action research. Uh, the simplest way of describing action research is by saying that it involves uh, learning through uh, action. So action research is conducted in a practical setting such as the classroom or a hospital or a workspace, et cetera, uh, as opposed to the control uh, environment like uh, a lab. Uh, and the action research helps to uh, inform a researcher of the problem or the uh, weaknesses related to uh, interactions uh, that we have. And uh, the, the action research help uh, to inform a researcher of the problem or the weakness related to the interactions within the real world. Now, the action research, uh, there's a strong face on the uh, participants uh, uh, that we have it. And uh, the main focus lies uh, on the participant only. So the people who are involved uh, in the issue being studied, uh, which is why uh, uh, sometimes it is referred as the participant uh, action research or PAR. Uh, so, so the PAR example uh, in a uh, community intervention, uh, thereby uh, forming education, whatever. So the researchers comes with an idea that it is implemented uh, with the help of uh, community uh, or the participant. The so findings are the, uh, then discussed uh, with the community to see how to better the intervention. And the process is repeated until the intervention uh, works just uh, right to the community. In this way, uh, a practical uh, solution is given to a problem and is, uh, it is generated by the combination of researcher and the community, that is participants' feedback. 
Now, uh, this kind of research is uh, generally applied in the social sciences, uh, and especially in uh, professions where individuals aim to improve on themselves and the work that uh, they are doing. So the action research is most commonly adopted in uh, the qualitative studies and is uh, uh, rarely seen in uh, quantitative uh, studies. So this is because one can see uh, this example uh, we have mentioned. Uh, the action research makes use of uh, language and interactions rather than the statistics and the uh, number. Uh, uh, the third uh, is the case study uh, research. Uh, it is, uh, the case study is uh, detailed, as you know, uh, in-depth uh, study of a single subject. Uh, for example, a person, a group of, uh, or an institution or an event or a phenomena or issue. Uh, now this type of uh, research, the subject is analyzed uh, to gain an in-depth understanding of issues in a uh, real life setting. The objective here is to gain an in-depth understanding uh, within the context of the study. Uh, not necessarily to generalize the finding. So it is uh, very important and vital uh, that uh, when conducting cases, uh, studies, research, uh, one take the social context and the culture into account, uh, which means that this type of research is more often than not uh, uh, qualitative in nature and tend to be uh, uh, inductive. Also, since the researcher's assumption uh, and understanding uh, play a role in case study research and is uh, typically informed by an uh, inter uh, uh, philosophy. I'll give you a classic example. Uh, one of the uh, researcher uh, was doing uh, the uh, UPCL, uh, the Uttarakhand Power Corporation Limited a case study. And the same way uh, uh, in, uh, in New York, uh, the same questioners were sent. And uh, uh, very they were uh, shocked to see uh, the various questions were asked on the uh, power theft. Uh, you know, uh, what are the ways uh, you just put a wire on and, and do the power theft? Other way uh, is to use uh, 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 the meter such a way uh, or put a magnet. I'm talking of the old uh, 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 power meter where you, you uh, put the magnet and it slows down. So that's one way uh, it has surprised them. And other way uh, it has uh, surprised the Indians uh, that it works on the coin uh, basis. You put the coin and you get the uh, power. And that uh, uh, the study was sent to uh, uh, London. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I, I have witnessed to uh, this. And uh, uh, in uh, India, uh, the, uh, in India, that is Dehradun, New York, and London, when this study was carried out, uh, the people were as astonished uh, uh, here in Dehradun. They couldn't believe that it is just like uh, you uh, fill uh, uh, your advance money in a mobile phone. The same can be done uh, in uh, 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 power sector. And at the same time, uh, you have uh, 6 p.m. to uh, 10 p.m. very high power tariff in uh, uh, the European uh, Union uh, nation, whereas uh, this is uh, still not known uh, in India. So, so, so uh, these are some of the uh, surprises uh, you, you get when you actually do uh, with your questions, uh, the case study uh, research uh, method. So it's very, very important uh, where uh, this has been uh, uh, applied and where this has been used. Coming to the uh, grounded theory, actually uh, I said, and I will be saying repeated time, the grounded uh, theory is a research strategy. It is not a theory. And uh, it is uh, all about uh, 
the letting uh, data speak for itself. Uh, uh, in uh, the grounded theory, uh, the data inform the development of a new theory a model or a framework. And uh, true to uh, the name, uh, uh, this uh, theory one developed is grounded in the data. So grounded theory is therefore very useful for research uh, into issues uh, that are completely new or the under-researched. Uh, it's also a very good excuse, uh, uh, you know, to use this word under-researched. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, that's why uh, people do the uh, qualitative research and use this uh, 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 strategy, the graduate theory. And uh, uh, this is uh, uh, typically the qualitative, as I have mentioned. Uh, it can also use uh, in quantitative data sometime and uh, uh, takes an uh, inductive approach. And, uh, uh, typically, uh, this form of research involves identifying uh, commonalities between a set of data and uh, results uh, are then drawn from uh, the completed research without the uh, aim of uh, fitting the finding in uh, with a pre-existing theory or the framework uh, that we have. Uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, if you study the methodology of an unknown culture through the uh, artifacts, uh, uh, one is uh, 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 enter into the research without uh, any hypothesis or theory and uh, rather work from the knowledge uh, uh, one gains from the study uh, to develop uh, these. Uh, the classic uh, uh, example is uh, the Adivasi. They are so close to nature. And uh, we have a uh, hotelier principle in the economy and uh, where the use of uh, uh, the uh, mother earth's uh, mineral or could be oil or could be uh, anything which uh, one receives from the earth uh, is been uh, dug over or, or for simple reason, the sand from the uh, uh, river and uh, the the local people, I mean, they they, they protest uh, against it, and uh, a, a lot many studies have been uh, uh, carried out, uh, taking uh, them the as a major stakeholder, especially in uh, uh, the deep forest or uh, in the in the uh, areas uh, next to the river bed and uh, uh, near the mining, uh, whether coal mine or the gold mine, uh, these people are uh, really uh, affected. So therefore, uh, a grounded theory is uh, a good way uh, to uh, use it. Uh, the, the fifth is the uh, ethnography. Uh, you know, it involves uh, observing people in their uh, natural environment and drawing meaning from their uh, cultural interaction and the objective with the uh, ethnographic is uh, to capture the subjective uh, experience uh, of uh, participant. So therefore, uh, the ethnographer study uh, the meaning of the behavior, the language, and the uh, interaction among member of the cultural uh, sharing group. For example, uh, if one has to, uh, uh, if one is interested in studying the interaction uh, on a mental health, uh, uh, discussion board and uh, one could use the ethnography to analyze the interaction and uh, draw an understanding of the participant uh, or uh, one wants to explore the behavior language and believe of an isolated uh, Amazonian tribe the ethnography could uh, allow one to develop the complex and complete uh, uh, description so given nature of the uh, ethnography it generally reflects the uh, interpretative research philosophy and involved in inductive uh, qualitative research approach. Uh, uh, there are exceptions, uh, for example, the quantitative ethnography as proposed 